everyone, today is Saturday and I, I know I have not been uploading many videos at all lately. I feel like I say that in every vlog but um, I don't really have a reason why I guess. It's just, it's not so much me having my GCSEs and everything because really the amount of revision I do is very minimal I have to say. Um, but it's really just school in general taking up time. So like, well I'll be at school for maybe six hours a day and that kind of annoys me because there's so much I want to do. I just want to make YouTube videos and educate people and I feel like I can't do that at the minute because I've got school. And I know I've had school for like the last however many years but now that I'm getting more subscribers I feel like I want to upload more videos and I just wanted to basically explain to you that it's kind of hard when I have school. It's not revision and stuff at home because whenever I'm at home I don't really revise. Um, I know that's bad but well, basically I revise for what I need so in my eyes what I need is my maths and my English. I've already done my English exam but that's the only exam I've done and I've got so many exams next week. Um, I'm not particularly nervous. I know everyone else is like stressing out but then there's me who's just like um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not really nervous about it because I feel like there's more important things and um, although people are always like, oh school's so important, like really, at the end of the day if you think about it on the scale of things, it isn't really as important to me. So I do leave school in like maybe four or five weeks, I think, I'm not too sure. There's not really an official leaving day but it's sort of like when we finish our exams we can leave which is annoying because it'll get to a point where we have two exams left and we'll be at school just doing nothing if you go what I mean I just absolutely hate school <laughs> so cannot wait to leave there but um yeah I've still got quite a bit of time it's not too long though and then I'll have so much time like I'll have forever to upload videos and I will be very consistent as soon as I left school like I'm going to be uploading so much more regularly so please stick along because you know I know it might seem like I don't really care anymore but it's definitely not the case um I just feel like I'm at school for so many hours it's hard to fit in the time. For YouTube as much as I love it, um, I just don't really have that much time. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just clear that up. Also, I have still been doing the vegan challenge and after watching some documentaries and learning more about it, there's no way I'm going back to any animal products or anything like that because I've learned all the ethics behind it and seeing I watched this documentary last night and it's called Live and Let Live. I will link it down in the description. You can download it off the internet or you can actually buy it as a DVD. I just downloaded it and um it was so inspiring and it's not really I know a lot of these documentaries are horrible to watch and everything. This one I feel like it's a lot more um positive and looking at the positive aspects of it rather than saying all the awful things that happen and yes it does cover some of those topics but it's not like you can't watch it it's there's no points where it's like you feel like you have to look away um it just sort of covers all the positive aspects from health to the environment and obviously the animals so it was really interesting and yeah like I said there's no way I'm going back and I absolutely love this lifestyle so I thought I would just um, sort of go over that because I think some of you may have thought that I'm only trying it out when really the idea was to do the 30 day challenge to introduce me to it and then I would carry on. So that is obviously what I'm going to do but um, I thought I would just explain to you that it's not just um, a temporary thing, it's like this is what I will continue forever and I'm not going back. Pinky's made this adorable little nest I thought I would show you in this little tree trunk thing I won't go in there because I don't want to disturb him but hopefully you can sort of see that's his nest Look at Pingu, how cute. So this is his new setup. He's got this whole um, area of loads of logs and things which he loves to climb upon. And he's so adorable. So he's got 
all of this here. I switched his wheel back to the large wheel because the other one was a bit small for him and he prefers this one anyway. So that's an overview. I'm going to feed him now. <laughs> so I'm basically just, every day I just sort of make up this mix of different <laughs> seeds and things you can see in there. Can you smell that food? Um, so it's mainly just bird seed. Then I get some grass seed as well. So we'll get some barley because this is well tolerated by like hamsters. Some grains aren't so good for them, but barley's a good one to feed. Do you like a bit of barley? Oh, you're very cute. Don't fall off. <laughs> How cute. So like I say, I do feed the gerbils on the hamster this mix, um, but the gerbils do get some more things like dried carrot and pea flakes and those types of things because um, my hamster is a hybrid, so more prone to diabetes. Therefore, I have to avoid more sugary things. Um, so I think that it's much easier to feed them both the same sort of diet. And obviously I'm careful with it, I do know what I'm giving them and stuff. I might feed some mealworms also. Then I will just put this all in here. So all the pets are doing okay. We had, well, I mentioned in the last vlog when Vinny had had been put under anaesthetic, but he's completely fine now. Jasper, he got into a bit of a fight with another cat, so he had to go to the vets to get some um, antibiotics and stuff. So um, they're both okay now, though. And then there's Mabel, so obviously you may know that she did get ill at one point, and she basically stopped eating and everything. Now, a few days ago, the exact same thing happened, so I'm wondering if there's some underlying problem. She's absolutely fine now, um, but we found out she did have a liquid blow, which can be really, really serious in guinea pigs. Um, so we picked her up, and you could hear it sloshing, a bit like a hot water bottle. So we knew something was definitely not right there. I looked up in my book, realised it was very serious, a lot more serious than I thought. So um, somehow it's managed to... Um, clear I don't know how I have no idea um, we did treat her ourselves um, just because we can't have we can't trust the vets anymore we've had so many guinea pigs who have passed away because of incorrect treatment and diagnosis since we've started treating our guinea pigs they've been they've recovered from the problem um, I'm not saying it'll work this time we need to find out the underlying cause though why she keeps getting um, digestive problems which may require a vet trip to a better vet but things like emergencies we have to treat ourselves because there's no local vets that can actually treat guinea pigs so they just no one really knows um, I'm also thinking of taking up this course to get more qualified and um, so 
I know how to treat guinea pigs myself and um, also maybe help other local vets maybe I don't know we'll see how that works out but you can see her now she's completely fine she just looks so much healthier again oh I've got some massive updates with the rabbits I completely forgot about this um, let's go in and show you so we had a problem where oh I'm not gonna be able to get in we had a oh look at your cute little face we had a problem where the rabbits well Piper because you know Piper's always the naughty one she started digging and we had no mesh underneath because we didn't think it was possible to mesh this we've got loads of roots from plants and stuff underneath and we didn't think we'd be able to mesh the bottom so then we found out that Piper had been doing some digging oh <laughs> um, she went down behind that hydrangea and started digging so that was not good how sweet is she so um yeah i noticed that well my mum noticed that she dug a tunnel and we had to act really fast because um well obviously we could shut them in there for the day but we didn't want them to be in because the weather forecast was really good for the next few days so what we had to do was well um my mum got some mesh and mesh the hole of the underneath i don't want to dig too far down like because it's kind of wet and gross but it's completely mesh now the hole of the bottom and they've now got a digging box which i think they may have used you can see there's a bit dug out there but this is just like um a plant box thing they might come in if we're lucky you're gonna come up here she might do in a minute there's a shell in there <laughs> look at that you want to come up <laughs> it's really nice and sunny in here they do get nice morning sunshine come on there sweetie oh it's so cute when she does that she's so lovely and really friendly like i never imagined i could just like pet them like that it's quite amazing piper's in she might start digging if we're lucky he's decided to eat my crocs I know what you're thinking, socks and crocs, very attractive. <laughs> They're definitely good footwear for animals though, you know. You don't want to wear nice shoes when you're walking around and all the poop and stuff. I really like that log. You're gnawing on it. We've also got some stepping stones here, really to discourage them from digging. Seems to have worked so far. Hello again. This is the problem every single time I want to go out. There's a bunny in the way. And you know how quickly they can run out and jump and stuff. So I've got to be so careful. The guinea pig should be out because it's really nice and sunny. We might have to shade it if it gets too hot. We've got this um, tarpaulin, I think it is. And we can just shade it when it gets too hot. But at the minute, I think it's okay. Oh, sunbathing. Oh. I'm just going to let them out for a quick run around because it is very sunny. And I don't want them to miss out on the nice warm weather. So I'll just open that door up. <laughs> you are both gorgeous, eh? Oh, you are lovely. Come in. Maybe if I put that here. Ta da! <laughs> when one of them goes, they'll come and follow in. How sweet. Now, I only use these houses when it's like in the shade because they are good in the shade. It's just having them in the sun is a really bad idea because they heat up like ovens in the sun, but in the shade they're really good. So I'll put them over here. But I may need some more little huts for them to use. So I'll go get some from the shed. 
I think there'll be some in here actually. I have to cover this plant up so they don't eat. lunch and I'm now about to go get Mabel and she is going to be syringe fed so it's only really to get her weight back up she's finding herself currently um, but the whole syringe feeding thing is really just to get her weight back up we've just got a syringe full of um, like mushed up pellets then some infocol I'm just going to go get her then I've got Mabel here it was very hard to catch her because she kept running away and she's really fast when she wants to be. I'm just going to get her out and then give her the food. So Mabel is used to having the food now. Um, sometimes she's a bit reluctant to have it but um, oh, she's got her nails stuck. But um, after a few minutes she normally starts to take it without much trouble. So let's see if she can take this down. Good girl. I think I need some kitchen roll here in case dribbles everywhere. Well, the guinea pigs have come out now. We've got celery, sugar snap peas, broccoli, and a little bit of pepper. Hello, you look. Oh, I think Mabel's still in there. <laughs> there we go. Do you like the peas? Phoebe's like, what is that? Oh, how do you like it? I'm really surprised. I did not think they would eat them. It's the first time they've ever tried these, I think. Come on then, Mabel. She likes bean type things, so she might like this. Oh. Is always out here even when all the others have gone she just likes to stay out here she's got no fear at all hello you here is what i've got for my tea i've just got some pizza without any cheese on and then some chips which are really good so 
yeah, I'm now going to look through this video, which is today's vlog, and then edit it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!